Democracy 2016, your voice and your vote. And while the presidential race is grabbing most of the headlines this year, there are some local political contests to keep an eye on as Election Day draws near. One of them is the race for a seat in the New York State Senate. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paula Suro has more on a debate between Republican Chris Jacobs and Democrat Amber Small. It's a battle for the 60th New York State Senate District seat. Democrat Amber Small versus Republican Chris Jacobs. One of the two will replace current New York State Senator Mark Penapinto. The fate of this district could possibly decide whether Republicans or Democrats control the New York State Senate. It's Both candidates defending their campaign Sunday morning on Hardline WBEN with Dave Debo. Chris has been on the ballot half a dozen times in 10 years. Things don't seem to be getting better. I think we need someone who's not involved in the political system. When the voters are making the decision, I encourage them, please look not only in what we're saying, but what we've done in our past. What route will millionaire Chris Jacobs take to get to Albany? Just follow the money. And it was a heated exchange when Small was asked about this specific ad run by the Fund for Greater Schools on behalf of Small, an ad she says she has no control over. The way that campaign finances work, I can't control these ads that are done on my behalf. They're done by a separate entity, I have no say in them. The ad accuses Jacobs of using money for his campaign from different corporations, including LP Simonelli. Jacobs fires back. So I'd ask Amber not to insult the uh, intelligence of the voters to say she uh, completely is uh, disengaged from those ads. Uh, she talked very much how she depended uh, and was banking on that the New York State teachers would get behind her, and she knew if they did, the dark money would come in. Chris, I'm extremely offended by this. You yourself also sought the endorsement of the teachers' union. They backed me because of my support of public education. Both agreed about the importance of education should they get elected. I want more focus on education. You know, we see that our schools are owed more money. The campaign for uh, fiscal equity shows that our schools statewide are owed about $3.9 billion. I think the budget, uh, I would agree on that one, that, that education is, is the most important thing, and uh, I've been involved, you know, for a long time. In Buffalo, Paula Searle, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Paula.